the Middle Ages. This is a new section, guys. We're done in another section. Woo! Only if... Well, actually... I still think we, we got a long way to go. I'd probably argue maybe we're a quarter through. This is going to be some hardcore shit. So during the Middle Ages, empires rose and fell around the world. Many wars were undertaken in the name of religion. In Europe, alliances were made and quickly broken, and a sense of nationalism began to grow. European traders ventured far afield as China. Camel caravans trudged across the Sahara, and Venetian ships sailed the Mediterranean Sea with their goods. These times were of faith, fortune, war, torture, famine, and wealth. By the end of the Middle Ages, learning had become a possibility for everyone who could read. The world at a glance. During this period, trade increased knowledge of many parts of the world, but also sp helped spread the Black Death, a disease carried by the fleas that lived on rats found in ships. In Europe, the Black Death killed a fourth of the population. Information about Africa was spread by Arab traders who sailed down the east coast of the continent. They brought with them stores of vast inland empires, rich with gold, centered on large stone cities. In West Africa, the Kingdom of Mali flourished. In the Far East, the Khmer Empire of Cambodia was at its height. In Japan, military rulers called shoguns were supported by samurai warriors and were virtual dictators of their country. The Mongols conquered much of Asia and Europe to form the largest empire of all time, although it was to be short-lived. Their success was based on brilliant military tactics and a superb horsemanship. In the Americas, the Aztecs built their capital city of Tenochtitlan in the center of Lake Texcoco in Mexico. While in South America, the Inca Empire was expanding by conquering neighboring tribes. North America. During medieval times, the Mississippian Temple Mountain culture had reached its peak. Even though it faded it almost completely during the 1400s, in the southwest, the Anasazi, Mogollon, and Hohokam Pueblo cultures declined during the 1200s. Mesoamerica and South America. The Toltecs fell, under, fell around 200, 1200, and this allowed a second phase of growth for the Maya in southern Mexico. But then the warlike Aztecs began building an empire in the 1400s in central Mexico, their central capital. Tenochtitlan was one of the world's greatest cities, yet the most influential people in the Americas were the Incas, who from small beginnings in Cusco, Peru, conquered and united many city-states and cultures in the Andes region during the 1400s. They became the largest American empire. Europe. In the Middle Ages, European nation-states grew more stable and established much uh, depended on ruling classes, nobility, and clergy. Although later centuries, the merchant classes grew in wealth and power by becoming their financiers. These were, this was a violent elimination of free thinkers. So-called heretics were persecuted and killed for their beliefs. The Crusades against Muslims had a major effect on both Europe and the Middle East. Then came the shock of the Black Death, which swept through Europe in the 1340s, ruthlessly killing one-third of the population. This was a major turning point. It led to a new political and social development that in time would put Europe in a position to dominate the world. Asia. The Mongols dominated Asia for a hundred years during the 1200s, creating the world's largest ever empire, embracing China, Persia, and Central Asia. Later, Asiatic Turks people believed that the important role of India and the Middle East, becoming overlords in many areas in 1271. The explorer Marco Polo set out f to China from Venice. In China, the Ming Dynasty took control, and in 1368, after the fall of the Mongols, and Muslim rule overcame Hindu culture in North India. Islam spread as far as the East Indies into Central Asia. Australasia. Polynesian cultures, including the Maoris, now reached their peak, though this hardly touched the rest of the world. In Australia, the Aborigines continued their ancient ways. Middle East. After a period of disunity, a new Muslim order was carved out by Saladin, who fought the Crusaders. Later, the Seljuks and Ottoman Turks became powerful. 
the Ottomans took over Byzantium and also took control of the Middle East and Southeast Europe. Their empire survived until 1917. Africa Several kingdoms became rich during this period, including Ethiopia, Mali, Songhai, Zimbabwe, Benin, and Kanem-Bornu. Foreigners also visited Africa from Europe, China, and Arabia.